Hi, I'm Deb Dedrick. Welcome to Season 3, Episode 1 of Secret Happiness Habits. I'm super excited to be back here with you. And today we're going to talk about how to get back on track and scale your life and business. A quick bit about me. I'm a third generation family business owner. And for the last 30 plus years, I have been running family businesses and Right now I'm on a journey to scale my businesses and live a life of purpose. So as we go on this journey, let you know we're just doing this together and I'm going to be doing the very best I can to give you uh, a roadmap so you can get to it a lot quicker than I have. And I'm really excited about 2022, really implementing a lot of these things that we talk about here so we can create a happier life, build a stronger business, and leave a legacy for family. Because I don't know about you, but it's my legacy for my family to leave them a roadmap on how to have a happy life. And I just do the very best I can. So let's just jump right into it. So if we're going to get back on track, we're going to kind of have to level the playing field and start at square one. And that requires self-reflection on where you at and where do you want to go? Are you here and you want to go over here? Well, you have to kind of build the bridge, right? It's my mission as your uh, high performance life and business coach to give you a map. And we're going to be building that map together. So let's start by getting out a piece of paper and a pencil because I believe it's very hard to remember things that you talk about all the time. So let's start by getting in the habit of writing down these things that we talk about here on the podcast and put the date on the paper and write down any idea that jumps into your mind because then you can go back. I use a notebook. I have one of these like binders. I write everything down in there and that makes it a lot easier if I forget something I can go back and I have a written journey. I love it and I've always had those. So let's write this down. Let's start with writing down your purpose. And usually when I ask somebody what their purpose is, they kind of like go blank. Well, what do you get up for? What do you live for? Do you have any passions? Do you have any hobbies that you love? What makes you the most excited? Is it involved with your business? Now for me, I've always been really super excited about my businesses. I've spent the last 35 years building businesses and that excites me. And so I'm always growing. I'm always learning new things. I'm reading books. I'm getting in groups. What's your purpose? What's your passion? And if you have a little problem with that, what I suggest you doing is getting alone in a quiet room without any distractions. For me, it's like walking around outside or it's getting in my hot tub. But, but I really close my eyes and I go back in my life to the times when I was the happiest or maybe before I started my journey in life and that was when I was in high school. So if you can get your mind to go back into high school, if you had a happy, I had happiness in high school and I could just remember back in the day how excited I felt about my future and I didn't know what was going to happen and I can remember feeling that feeling of excitement in my stomach and the butterflies and, and I can remember thinking, oh, I wonder where I'm going to end up. I wonder what my career is going to be. And I wonder who I'm going to marry and where I'm going to end up and what my life's going to bring me. See if you can kind of get yourself into that mindset and then ask yourself, what did you most love to do back then? And for me, oh my gosh, I was always involved in sports. I played soccer and I did not play basketball because in the sixth grade, this big girl came charging at me and she knocked me down onto the ground and, and it hurt me and I thought, well, I'm not doing that again. But I did play soccer and then from soccer, I went on into playing tennis. What did you do? Did you have any hobbies? Did you have any sports that you liked to play? Were you a cheerleader? Were you a basketball player? Did you play tennis? Were you a football player? Did you have any hobbies? Maybe you were a Boy Scout. Maybe you were a Girl Scout. I was a, I was a Girl Scout and I was a first class Girl Scout. And we did all kinds of fun things. We went backpacking and we went snow skiing, we went sailing. I was exposed to a lot of things that, that broadened my uh, awareness. What about you? Did you do any hobbies? Were you a Boy Scout? Were you a Girl Scout? Did you go out skiing? Did you cross country ski? Did you do skateboarding? Did you like to ride your bike? Start to fill in the blanks here and refresh your memory. 
what else did you like to do? Well, ah, did you, did you like school? Did you like learning new things? Fill in those things and get to know yourself a lot better. And then let's go on to number two, getting clarity on ourselves and we're defining our purpose. And then ask yourself, like Tony Robbins says, he says that happiness is growth. How much have you grown in your life? Did you stop growing when you, when you graduated from high school or college? Did you stop growing mentally? Did you stop picking up books? He believes that lifelong learning and growing is the path to happiness, that we're here as humans to get better. And the only way to get better is to keep learning. Do you have a plan for that? How can you apply growth to your business or to your family? Because if, if you're like me in a family business, it's hard to disconnect the two. You can't just shut off your emotions. If you're upset at work, you can't just come home and flip a switch and be happy. Creating a plan that intertwines the two, if you're, especially if you're working with family or you're working in a family business, it means creating a life at work that it creates harmony in align with your purpose and creating a plan that you get better at it so you have happiness at work. And finally, do you have a mentor? All this stuff I'm talking about, it works a lot better if you have a, a group that you're in, a mastermind group. Do you have a, a coach? Do you have a mentor? Are you in a mastermind? Do you have a group of friends that are like-minded like you? And you're different and you like getting better at things and you like growing, you're probably not a lot around a lot of people that are like that. You know, that's probably what defines leader. A leader is somebody that's getting better, leading other people. And most of the time, if you're in a family business in a leadership role, it helps to be around other people that are like you, especially if you're surrounded with negativity at home or at work. Where can you get a mentor? Where can you get around like-minded people? Well, the internet's full. Go join a Facebook group, go out on YouTube, LinkedIn, you can network. Let's begin to create a plan where we're gonna start with defining your purpose and then we're going to figure out how we can learn new things and create more happiness within ourselves by creating a plan. And then finally, let's get ourselves a coach, trainer, and mentor that will help us get some momentum and that is the path to creating happiness. That's our first few steps that we're gonna take on how to get back on track to begin to get our life and our business, getting some momentum so we can go to the next level. But it all starts with leveling the playing field and getting clarity and getting to know yourself better, getting a plan, surrounding yourself with positivity, learning new skills, and finally, get a coach, trainer, and mentor. Thank you so much for joining me. If you like this, please click the like button, subscribe to my channels, share with a friend, go out and check my website out, and until my next tip, go out in the world and be a positive role model and influencer for good.